And g'day guys, how are we all? I've missed you all so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy to be uploading. Here I have this very vampy look. If you want to learn how to do this look, then please keep on watching. Prepping my face in Napoleon Potus's Autopilot Primer. Ooh, there was a lot of peas. And now using MAC Strobe Cream on the high points of my face. This would just help with giving my base like a bit more of an illuminated finish. As always, I like to start with brows. I'm using Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown in an angled brush. What I like to do is trace out the shape of my brows. I kind of don't really have a brow shape because I have hardly any hairs there. So I like to trace out my brows first and fill in the extension. And once I've filled that in, I like to take Anastasia's New Brow Definer Pencil in dark brown and I like to fill that in. It just, it's so much easier to fill in than with the Dip Brow and it just gives me a really nice natural natural huh um eyebrow finish and now just covering that up with some concealer and setting that all with Anastasia's clear brow gel so that concludes one eyebrow I will get on with the next I'm so sorry if you can hear so much background noise I have like a house full of kids and it's like crazy town okay let's do our eyes first I'm using the motives cosmetics maven element palette from the palette I'll be using Native, a beautiful matte um, brown eyeshadow. Not too cool, not too warm, so I find it perfect as a transition colour. And this brush is by Royal and Lanical. I'll be using all their eye brushes today. Just using circular motions right in the crease and buffing that up towards the brow. Now taking the colour Bordeaux from that palette and using the same brush, placing that right the way under Native. Just sweeping motions back and forth, we're just giving the crease a bit more dimension. And I absolutely love this purpley crumbly colour. Lol, did you mean to say cranberry? I meant to say cranberry. What's wrong with me? I need to do like vocalizing before I start my voiceovers. Anyways, I grabbed a raven from that palette and I'm just placing this in an outer V shape on the outer portion of my eyes, on my eyelid. And I'll be grabbing that same blending brush and just buffing all that out to oblivion. Now getting a clean wet wipe and just giving myself a really clean edge. Some people use sticky tape, I prefer baby wipes to each their own. Now for my most favouritestest part, um, I'm using Violet Voss' Secret Weapon Glitter Adhesive, placing that on my lid, and now using this beautiful gold glitter by Motives Cosmetics. It's so gorgeous, more gorgeous than in real life, trust me, it really is. And just patting motions, placing a tissue right under my eye just to catch any fallout. So that concludes the eyes for now. I will get on with my face. I'm using Kat Von D's Locket Tattoo Foundation mixed with the Giorgio Armani Designer Lift. I absolutely love this combination. The Kat Von D is very full coverage and extremely matte, which I love. But for this look, I kind of wanted to look a bit more, do a little bit more illuminated. So I just mixed the two and I'm just buffing that in with a small stipple brush and then to further blend it and push it more into my skin I'll be using a damp beauty blender and I'll spray a bit of max fix plus just to help push that more into the skin and give me that really airbrush finish for concealer I'm using the NARS radiant creamy concealer in custard I've only just purchased this I bought this overseas when I was on my holiday and I'm loving it I can already say that this is probably going to be my go-to concealer um, Possibly for the rest of the year until I find something better. I don't know. I'm loving it. I love the coverage. I love the texture of it. I love the way it sets. I love the, the longevity of it. Yeah, I really recommend it for those who have troubles with their under eye concealer. So what I've done is just place that um, on the high points of my face, um, down my nose, the nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow and chin. Now time for cream contouring. I'm using the Maven's Eye Sculpt Series by Motives Cosmetics. I love this cream contour kit because the product itself is extremely creamy and really easy to blend, which I love. Placing this in the hollows of my cheeks and then bringing that product up towards my concealer, this will just help with the blending process. Also bringing this product on the sides of my nose to bring out my bridge, which I kind of don't really have, as well as the tip of my nose and around the perimeters of my face. Basically anywhere the sun would hit or where I need to have a bit more structure. Here we go for the 50 millionth time. I'm spritzing a bit of my MAC 
Fix Plus Spray on my Damp Beauty Blender and blending out my concealer. I like to blend out my concealer first and then my contour. It's just easier to help keep my cream contouring and highlighting clean um, and executed. What? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Ah, oh, these voiceovers do my head in. I've tried so many times. I like to freestyle when I do voiceovers as well because I don't want to sound like a robot. But, yeah. I just like to do it separately, obviously, because it's just cleaner that way. And now I'm blending out my cream contour. Um, I like to push a product up so um, I don't bring the product lower because I like to keep my cheekbones higher. I'm blending out my jawline and my forehead. Setting my whole face with MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. I believe this step is really crucial in a makeup routine. It just helps whatever other products you're going to be placing on top blend out a bit more seamlessly and it also helps with the longevity of your makeup. Now time for baking! I'm using Laura Mercier's translucent but I don't know what that was, I'm so sorry. I'm using Laura Mercier's translucent powder and that same bloody beauty blender. God, I love it. You just place that right under your eyes, under my contour line, tip of my nose, my bridge. This will just help in the sculpting process and just clean up any contours that's just gone a bit lower than where it should be. Um, yeah, no, I love doing this step and it also helps with keeping your makeup on for the rest of the night. Like when I do this and I go out, my face does not move. So now I'm taking um, Motives 3-in-1 Contour Kit, placing that in the hollows of my cheeks, um, just setting that cream contour and just bringing my face a bit more to life. So yeah, on the other side of my forehead and my jawline. And using this stippling brush by Royal and Lang Nicole, I hope I'm saying that right, just to brush off all of my baking powder. Um, all the brushes that you see that are red are from their Lust set. Um, I'm really loving them. I'm really loving these brushes and I know that they're really affordable too. I do have a coupon code and I will leave all the links down below so you can go purchase whatever you like in this um, tutorial down below. Now warming up my face with my absolutely favourite bronzing powder by Napoleon Purtis. This is called Bronzing. Now grabbing two shades from the Gleam Glow Kit by Anastasia. Sorry, I'm like really mellow because my baby is like sleeping next to me. I'm placing that on the high points of my face, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow, just so I can have a bit of glow, you know. You know how we do. Now let's continue on with the eyes. I will be grabbing Motive's Little Black Dress Gel Liner, placing that on my waterline. This gel liner you need you need in your kit it is so bomb now grabbing bordeaux and just um place that on the outer third of my eye just to smoke at that bottom lash line and my lashes are signed by social eyes pretty sure that's carissa pukas's lash line and that completes the eyes last but not least on my lips i'm wearing potion by anastasia and that completes my look. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I have. It's It's been a long road, but we got there at the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourselves. Please subscribe. Please comment. Um, what else do you do on this? Share it. Um, keep in contact with me. I'll have all my social media up in the links down below. Let's become the bestest of makeup friends. I don't have a lot of makeup friends, so please befriend me. Um, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you are, and hopefully see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.